Hey guys, today I thought I'd give you a tour of my shower and show you some products I go back to time and time again and introduce you to some new guests. Now I'm a shower person typically, so that means first thing in the morning, ideally after I've worked out, I'll hit the shower. So it's a matter of efficiency, but I also want a little bit of pampering to get me in the right mood for my day. So I start with my hair. And at the moment, my go-to routine every day um, is the recovery shampoo and the recovery conditioner from Virtue. Now, there's something about the combined experience. These smell divine and they really deliver a really nourishing shampoo and condition to my hair. And I'm quite naturally a bit frizzy, a bit combination. So straight at the back, curly at the front and prone to frizz, especially with um, regular coloring and using straightening irons um, to get a bit of a bend. So those products are really keeping my hair from feeling frazzled and they've kind of enhanced the color nicely as well. Um, if I'm doing a bit more of a sort of intensive treatment to my hair, I'll then go to the Living Proof Restore Mask Treatment, which is actually almost out. Um, and I love this, particularly on a Sunday afternoon. I'll leave that on for 20 minutes, maybe wrap it up in a shower cap to really make it penetrate in and lock moisture into my ends. So that's me done when it comes to hair. And then I'll go on to do my face and body next. And that means I'm definitely getting rid of any residual hair product from my skin. And that I think reduces the risk of breakouts um, as a consequence of using hair products. Cause I see that a lot in clinic girls who have bumps here on their temples and on their shoulders. And I think that often does come from leftover hair care products being left on skin. So let's go next to body. Now I have an array of mostly non-fragranced products for washing my skin in the shower. Now, my skin has been super dry. If any of you clocked my pictures from my holiday in the US, I was in Utah, I was in the desert, and my skin became incredibly dry. And I'm normally quite sensitive to fragrance, but it's literally been something I cannot tolerate at all on my skin for the last few weeks since I came back. So, I'm tending to wash with something very simple um, CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser, which is just a great all-purpose cleanser. You can use it on your face in a pinch, you can use it on your body. Um, it doesn't leave you dry and it won't overly deplete your skin's barrier function. So I find that to be really handy. My partner uses it too. Um, big bottle, what's not to like, right? Um, I also have a touch of KP on the backs of my arms and on my thighs and if I want to do a little bit more of an action cleanse um, for some smoothing, I'll use this one from Ameliorate which is a combined physical and chemical exfoliant with lactic acid. Um, I won't use that at the moment though my skin's a little on the dry side for that, but that's something I would use. Um, particularly if I was going to apply fake tan afterwards, it gives a really smooth result on knees and on heels, so that's useful to have. And then the one other shower product that I use on a regular basis, again, not at the moment because there's a tiny bit of fragrance in, um, is the Bioderm, Bioderma Atoderm um, Ultra Nourishing Shower Oil. So they just that tiny little bit of fragrance in, which makes for a slightly more present experience. Um, and I think that the actual texture of that product is really lovely. It feels very um, sort of luxurious and pampering on the skin and doesn't leave me dry typically either. I then keep my body moisturizers by the shower so that I'm reminded to put them on because otherwise, you know, maybe I, I moisturize once a week. And one that I'm really liking as my skin has been drier is this Lipicar Eczema Soothing Relief Cream from La Roche-Posay. I think I got this one in the US and it contains a little colloidal oatmeal, which has been very good when I've been dry and itchy. Um, and it soaks in nicely, but the Lipicar Balm is also excellent and I think available here. And then again, if I'm a little on the bumpy side, I'll use the Ameliorate Transforming Body Lotion again, loaded with lactic acid, which is a nice AHA. I think it's not too irritating. Um, it's a natural humectant as well as being a chemical exfoliant. So really good for brightening up dull skin. Um, maybe your skin's a little on the dull side post summer. So something I use quite frequently. Then, what else do I do? Then I cleanse my face and I'll use my Dr. Sam's Flawless Cleanser. I keep that in the shower um, to use and I will just turn the temperature of the water down at that point. I won't expose my face to water for too long 
to reduce the tendency for you know the shower experience to dry out your skin because hot water just washes away your natural lipids leaving your skin naturally more prone to dryness and irritability occasionally i will also do an in shower self tan if i'm really short on time um, that can work quite well for me but i don't do that so often um, and occasionally, I guess I'll do something with my feet and my hands just to exfoliate using um, an exfoliating mitt. But that's pretty much it. Simple, effective, and I'm out the door pretty pronto. Bye for now.